There are three tools in my shop that I can't live without. Can you guess what they are? Let's go toys. Action figure, dioramas, and props. Now, I don't want to cause any confusion. These are not tools that I think everyone needs to succeed at making dioramas. These are the tools that I would replace in an instant if they happen to break. The first irreplaceable tool on my list is a two for one. It's this Proxon hot wire foam cutting table and the foot pedal accessory that you can get made by Proxon. Now, this tool is near and dear to my heart for two reasons. First, my wife got me each one of these tools as Christmas gifts the last few years. And number two, these tools were the first major upgrade tools that I ever got. And it really allowed me to exponentially improve my diorama art by allowing me to have repeatable cutting of my XPS foam through the Proxon. And then as an added enhancement, with the foot pedal, you can really control the heat of the uh, Proxon as you're cutting the foam by cutting it on and off. So if you're cutting angles or you're cutting some odd shapes the foot pedal really comes in handy because you don't have to have your finger on the on off switch you can just use the foot pedal to control if there's power coming through it's also important to note that the guide by shifting lands really enhances the proxon the original guide is not very good and sometimes can be frustrating Another irreplaceable tool in my shop is this printer right here, which is a Creality Ender 3 V2 FDM 3D printer. This is the second printer that I have in my shop, but this printer has a much larger bed than my original printer. I believe the first one was 180 millimeters by 180 millimeters, and this one's 235 by 235, which when you're working in diorama art is a large difference and allows me to have some bigger pieces printed, and some more intricate things printed than what I was able to do before. I do have some customizations on this printer, namely the print bed. The original print bed is a glass bed, which worked okay, but I noticed a substantial uptick in quality and consistency in my prints when I got this metal flexible bed by 3D is the name of the company and they do a fantastic job with a lot of accessories so far i've only gotten their print beds but i've been extremely happy and i have this product on both of my 3d printers if you're considering getting a 3d printer just know there's a learning curve and a lot of maintenance The third tool on my list is not as flashy or as expensive as the first two, but I actually use this tool on almost every single project that I work on, as opposed to the other two where I only am using them some of the time, which is my hot glue gun, a dual temperature hot glue gun, which has a hot temperature and a low temperature. Now there are certainly other glues that I use, but I really do love how quickly the hot glue sets when you're building your dioramas, so you don't have to wait hours to get your build together. And I just really think that this is something that every diorama artist should have, and it's so accessible because you can get it at any craft store, dollar store, Walmart, any place like that sells a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And they're extremely easy to use and effective in diorama building. Thanks for watching this video. I'm curious, what do you think of my list? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What tools in your shop are irreplaceable? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next episode.